I'm actually going to tie a variation on the hair's ear, and this is a flashback hair's ear nymph. So this is a size 12 B175 here, and I'm going to use a white thin gel spun here. Although you could use whatever colour or thread you feel like, it'll give you a head colour equivalent to that. So we want a little bit of weight on this, we're going to use a fine lead wire just under the thorax. If I take my little super glue brush and just glue the shank up at the front sort of third of the flay and wrap four or five turns of lead into that and snap the two ends that'll give us our little bit of weight. So here's here, it's made of here's here. So I'm going to use the tail, I'm going to use this uh, is the mask here. So I'm going to use some of these bits here because they're quite straight and they have a nice defined uh, sort of tip colour and shape to them. So I'm just going to take a little bunch out of here. Hold on to it by the tip and snip it out. So we'll end up with this. So what we want to do is hold it by the tips because we want the guard hairs and we don't want this fluff. Pull that fluff out now, you can hold that fluff aside and use it as a dubbing. So these bits here, if I then transfer them into my other hand, will give us a little tail bunch. So length up to yourself, some people like it quite long for a little bit more movement, but generally you would probably keep it shorter than the entire length of the, the shank on these ones. Tie it back to the start of the bend. As you can see it gives a nice little tail tuft, if you want, stroke that down wet. Now, uh, we're going to tie in a bit of fine gold wire as the rib. Slide that underneath, tie it back to the tail. And our flashback, you can use whatever you want for this here, some people use Mirage, uh, I'm going to use Mirage Crinkle here, uh, so this is quite thin, it's only like one mil or so, a lot of the ones you see sort of commercially are quite thick, the uh, the pearl bit on the back I think it's nice to, just to have just this sort of smaller accent of it, so we tie that in across the back and again tie it down to the point of our tail tie in. And this little bit of under furry stuff that we took out, we can use that. If you want, you can mix a little bit more of the, uh, the mask fur or the, the ear fur in with that. This is going to be our body dubbin. So we'll just wax the gel spun because gel spun doesn't really like to stick to dubbing at all. Twist that on to make a nice fine dubbing rope. And then wind that forward until we meet this thorax thing. And we bend the pearl or mirage over the back of the fly. So you can see it gives a strand across there and then hold that in place with our ribs. We'll take the rib forward, hopefully in fairly even turns. Fold this strand back, continue to wrap, put a couple of wraps on behind the eye there and snap it off. Now that saves you having to tie the thing off. Um, because once it's pulled through there and the tension to snap it, it'll tighten itself on quite well. Saves on a few wraps. So, time to put on a thorax on this fly now. So again we're just going to use hair's ear for this here, but I'm actually going to use the hair's ear. So we take this, rip off a small bunch of that there. Sometimes just to make it wrap easier, if you get a bit of a more fluffy fur from somewhere on the mask and sort of mix those together. 
it'll help it to stop it falling apart, give it a little bit more grip. And again we'll dub that on. Now we want a slightly thicker thorax than the body. So we wrap that on. Then if we take one of these eyeliner brush things or whatever they are and give that a bit of a roughen up and give us the idea of legs then pull this strand of mirage forward a couple of turns across it pull it back tie it in and trim it off, that is our fly tied finish the head off and as you can see the gel spun sort of transmits whatever colours underneath it uh, and whenever you add a little dab of super glue to that to finish it as I said it'll transmit whatever's underneath it and give you I think a nice natural head, although I said you could have used whatever colour of thread you felt like. And that is our finished little flashback. Here's your nymph. The hair's ear is one of the most famous of all patterns, it's probably caught more trout than anything else I would think. But uh, that's just a different variation of it and something to give a run at.